Well, animal handling is getting a lot better, especially in places like meat works and feed yards. You know, when I first came out here uh, in 1978, I found people were really willing to build the facilities. But getting people to operate it correctly, that was a problem area. <coughs> uh, people now are getting much more aware of the importance of good stockmanship. Just in the last, <coughs> excuse me, okay, people are getting much more aware of good stockmanship. In the last five, ten years, much more interest in doing good animal handling because you're going to get better weight gain, you're going to get less dark cutters, less accidents with people. There's lots of good reasons for animal handling. And there's other welfare issues. You're doing a good job on heat stress with shade, but then we've had some questions arise in the United States on you know, beta agonists, and we've had some cattle show up at the meat works stiff and lame and with sore feet. I want to emphasize that it's not all the cattle, but it's some cattle during very hot weather. You were talking about that with, with the reference to the improvements and uh, the need for better uh, stockmanship and animal, animal handling. That puts uh, an emphasis perhaps further up the production chain on the production uh, you know, on the cattle property production phase, perhaps also the uh, sale yards marketing phase. Do you see those as being uh, uh, new targets for uh, more appropriate animal welfare and animal handling? Well, there's a tendency for the feed yards to pick it up first and then go back to the production areas. Unfortunately, I found that sale yards are often the last uh, segment to pick things up because they don't own the animals. But when it comes to animal handling, I've also got to have an animal that I can handle. You know, some extremely wild cattle are coming in from the properties where they've never seen a man on foot until they get to a sale yard. Even there's some feed yards, that we've had this problem in the States, where everything's done on a horse, and then when they get to the meat works, the cattle are crazy because a man on, they've never seen a man on foot. See, so think about it. Cattle's a visual thinker. The man on the horse and the man on foot is two different visual pictures. They need to be gotten accustomed to both. That's, that's really important. Those animal handling principles that you espoused this morning, do they apply equally to uh, cattle from more remote properties that have had less uh, uh, imprinting from, from, uh, from humans? Um, can you still have established benefit in those sort of cattle as well as um, more closely managed cattle? Absolutely, and you need to just spend a little bit of time with some of those cattle out in the properties and they will get a whole lot better. Yeah, the same principles apply. I have seen cattle coming off the properties, coming into the meat works, and they could be handled just fine.